Government has cut short for the construction of a $40 million biomass plant to replace electricity use in the refining of cocoa. Minister of Food and Agriculture, Dr. Wusui Priyakoto, commissioning a biomass centre for the cocoa processing company, says government is poised to invest in more in the agricultural sector. As global efforts are being pushed for increased investments in renewable energy and alternative sources of energy, the agri sector has sharply taken advantage to reduce its energy costs in the production of refined cocoa and its product. So far, the outcome of this has been new exports to Morocco and China, both of which are vast and untapped markets by us. In addition, you may have heard about a visit of the president of South Africa here last week, and we had discussions with his team. They are very happy to promote your products, CPC products, in South Africa. So that is a new market which is coming up. In addition, the sword will be cut to commence the construction of a biomass and combined heat and power generation plant, which utilizes the normally discarded cocoa pot husk to generate energy. Government's injection of some $40 million is expected to boost the production of refined cocoa. The project is supported by three major foreign development partners, GP Green Energy, India, Horus Energia, Poland, and Captive Energy Co., including the State Bank of Poland. We're well, having looking further if we can do some bottling here. And as you see over, we have a 200,000 liter tank and an RRO system where we treat our own water, try to wean ourselves from Ghana water. Our next big headache was on our current utility, where we spend $500,000 to $570,000 a month, averagely $6.8 million yearly on energy. And we thought that this spend is unacceptable, so we needed to identify how well we can do something about it. The project is a build, operate, and transfer arrangement payable over a six-year period. After the BOT arrangement, the cocoa processing company, CPC, will be expected to have its energy reduced by 60%. Meanwhile, the CPC says the introduction of the biomass would enable it to explore its full potential. 